When astronauts go up in space, they're allowed to bring some special items. Some astronauts fly M&Ms, some people fly beef jerky. Don Pettit, this guy, chose candy corn. He's a NASA astronaut who spent nearly half a year floating around the International Space Station. And while he was up in space... I elected to spend my off-duty time doing science of my own design. Like this zero-gravity candy corn demonstration. It's a macroscopic analogy to how a surfactant molecule works. And a surfactant molecule just means... Soap. So in this demo, a candy corn is equivalent to a soap molecule. And this water blob represents grease or oil. And basically the demo shows how soap cleans grease. Soap molecules have a water-loving end. So they call that hydrophilic. And a water-hating end. Hydrophobic. And that's important. Say you have a blob of oil and you throw it in a washing machine, the hydrophobic part of the molecule sticks into the grease and the oil, and the hydrophilic part uh, pokes up into the water. In candy corn, the hydrophobic hydrophilic sides are reversed. This part is water loving, and Pettit coated this side with oil to make it water hating. But the principle is the same. The molecules, or the candy corn, arrange themselves around the glob based on attraction or repulsion to water. Of course, that's how your clothes get clean. You cover them with these hydrophilic hydrophobic molecules called soap. And once the soap molecules fully cover the grease blob, it becomes water soluble. It's called the critical micelle concentration. Or in candy corn. The critical candy corn concentration. Once it hits this concentration. All the dirt and the oil and the grease floats off of your fabric and it mixes with the water and then you pour the water off and you're left with clean clothes. Now in candy corn, there's a bonus science lesson. After you reach the critical candy corn concentration. And a most amazing thing happens. The blob goes from smushy to rigid. You can think of it like of putting the keystone in a Roman arch, where now all of a sudden gravity locks all the stones together and you have this rigid arch that you could drive traffic across. But we're in space, so it's not gravity at work, it's surface tension holding the ball together. This was one of many experiments Pettit did in space, but it's the only one that used candy corn. And I use our whole crew's supply of candy corn for this one demonstration, which I uh, profusely apologize to the rest of the crew because they didn't get to eat any. <laughs> For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.